morning guys the vlog is a bit late today so we are heading out to have lunch at our favorite Mexican food, food Mexican food Mexican place and the weather is just chilly today so let's go so we still have a little uh, work we need to do um, for the house paint but we haven't started yet because it's still cold so 34 degrees Fahrenheit um, but we have to do it when we get back after lunch because we want to finish it before we leave so that's the plan for today hopefully we can accomplish as much as we possibly can no mahal yeah if it's not the the wind <laughs> it's something else <laughs> so later guys okay change of plan <laughs> Is it an extension card for the generator? Yeah, that's for the generator. Yeah, since um, it's really hot right now in the Philippines, and it said I've seen on the news that there are like a lot of brownouts. So, and we had a generator in the house, so we can have a better generator extension cord. And then after this, we're gonna go home and do more stuff. Maybe start packing our suitcases too. It is snowing right now. So. Springtime. Springtime <laughs> in the Rockies. <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> we didn't get to do the um, garage cleaning because it's still really cold even in the even in the inside the garage so emmy come here leave that thing alone leave that chicken one of our chicken went out of the coop or in the run because the other chickens are just bullying her so she's just wandering around the yard so we set up a house for her we put some um sawdust 
in the bigger dog kennel pet carrier we put some tarp on top we put food water for her inside but anyway we are gonna start packing our suitcases instead Shh, come here she's scared come on instead so at least we get something done today even if it's not the garage so that's the plan later it's really cold right now but we better enjoy it because when we get back to the philippines we know that it's gonna be hot and humid again so better enjoy it while we can hello welcome back it is still cold outside this is the next day and so we're just gonna do some work here inside the house where it's warmer because right now it's just chilly it's cold so let's go getting warm it's 41 degrees so let's go outside and finish the painting since it is sunny warmer because we just need we just want to finish this whole thing are you gonna put are you gonna do that top okay I'm probably gonna start on the other side well, this side is done, so I'm going to do the front. Hello, welcome back. We just had a quick lunch. Oops, sorry. At In and Out, we went to buy some burgers and now go back to work because um, he wants to paint the front door the same color as the deck. And that's what I will do plus the deck is not done yet the floor so to finish it and be done with this painting I'm so over it he's outside cleaning the garage or organizing it so tomorrow we don't have to do much because tomorrow is our last day here in the States we're flying the following day really early so let's go out put this on the floor with I have some shower curtain liner that I saved that I can put in there so you know just to avoid some drippings on our new floor okay so this is what it looks like but I still have to be uh, extra careful
let's do this deck so the front door doesn't take that long to put or to paint then I will put a second coat in it and then paint brush on all the the things that the roller brush can do Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are um, not quite finished with the paint, but uh, the house is like 99.5% done. We just have very little touch-ups to do, a couple places, and that's it. And then the house is done, trim, everything is done. Um, and before anybody um, freaks out, where the gutters are, uh, we did not paint that on purpose. The gutters are white, and the, the wood right by the gutters is, is also white. And we didn't want to take the the amount of effort that that was going to, to take to repaint that wood behind that gutter and then have to touch up all that gutter because we knew it was going to be a mess. A mess. <laughs> so um, we're going to give you a, a view of the house. We'll come over here first and let you guys take a look. There's still some a tarp and stuff. We, we need to finish painting the deck, but you'll get a idea of the color. And the front door uh, is still the old red. So it is going to be different too. So here we go. So we'll move up a little closer so you guys can see it a little better. And uh, it is a... Uh, I'm not, it's, it's, it's a green shade, all of it. Um, we have the dark green to set the, the railing and the, the deck apart from the house. That's going to be the color of the door. And then we have kind of a, uh, I don't know if you'd say it's an olive oh, green. Yeah. And then a little bit darker green trim. Uh, I think it looks really nice compared to the got the brown that was there before and also on it's it's everywhere now so it's on the garage we have not finished it yet we're working on it today we're doing the trim on the garage so it matches the house as well as the shed the shed matches it as well um so the main door to the garage is going to remain white we're not going to paint that uh so we estimated paint actually pretty well. Um, so if anybody has any ideas of how much paint for the house, for the garage, and for the shed, for the main color, the trim, and then the deck, deck and the railing for the patio. Uh, let us know down below and then we'll let you know who wins. Who can, who can pick uh, how much. We came really close. Because the, the main color, we are down to just, just a little bit left. Um, so everything matches now. We've got a little bit of touch up here and there. But for the most part, it's done. Uh, we got. I just saw a little bit more touch up. But the, the last little touch ups that we need on the house are literally a couple minutes and that's it and that's just being a little bit nitpicky about here and there so but I want it done right so I think it looks looks good so why is that color? Um, it looks way better than the old paint and uh, after repairing and painting and doing all this we've, we've noticed that uh, the prior owners um, painted uh, they, if they did a full coat we were lucky um, a lot of places it was you could see through the paint it wasn't even a full coat of paint and they used a lot of paint thinner um, it just didn't adhere very well uh, the paint that we used is, is pretty high quality it's not not cheap at all 
it's not the most expensive either, but um, compared to the Philippines, I wish we had the Philippine paint here. With so much we paid, uh, it's yeah. it's pricey here, but all the labor was just us, so it didn't cost any labor costs <laughs> other <laughs> other than us uh, complaining about being sore and shoulders and everything else. <laughs> so the the color is something that I wanted, um, and I didn't actually choose the color. I just told Madeline that I would like. Uh, shades of green yeah, so um, nothing crazy or anything like that but if you look around we got some neighbors one's a yellow house one's a kind of a bluish gray lots of lots of blue tan you know sand we have one that's kind of orange and blue uh, that's a different one but um, so we've got uh, we've got a lot of the just neutral you know blah you don't see green very often but there's some really nice colors so we, we like this color yeah that's all good. Uh, and it looks nice on the house and it looks like a totally different house inside and out so uh, with that let us know what you think for the amount of paint that we used and uh, we'll let you know